Because the two preeminent religious leaders in the world have been showing their true colors recently and advocating for very progressive politics, frankly. And I think in the case of Pope Francis, who we talk about a lot before I get to the second one, I think it's possible that in the same way that Pope Francis is trolling us, I mean, in the same way that Greg is trolling us and getting us to play these silly clips by like Penn Jillette, I think when I listen to this Rush Limbaugh clip that I'm about to play you, that Pope Francis is making these incredible and obvious stands of moral leadership on inequality and on the climate crisis just to see if you can blow Rush Limbaugh's gasket completely. So when you listen to this sound of Rush Limbaugh responding to Pope Francis, who has recently come out and said that climate change is a major issue, Catholics have to address it, he's issuing an important religious edict on it, which is going to coincide with talks in Paris this summer on the climate crisis, which he's also going to address. Listen to Rush Limbaugh go into his mode, and you know that if it was anybody else, he would just be saying the most disgusting things imaginable, but it's the Pope, so he can't totally go there, even though he wants to. He's about to explode. His heart might finally give out. Let's listen to this. Companion story that the methane and uh, drilling story is uh, with Pope. Reuters, Pope wades into climate change debate, says it's mostly man's fault. Well, this Pope sure has got his priorities right. Climate change, <laughs> the biggest thing facing Catholicism, Catholicism and Christianity. You believe this? You know, when this guy came out with his economic statements and I said it's Marxism, the world erupted in outrage, and I would dare characterize the Pope as a Marxist. But his economic policies or philosophies, as, as he explained them, were completely that. And then if I'm not mistaken, the Vatican went on a, what do you call it, circle the wagons. That's <laughs> not what the Pope was saying. The Pope is not a Marxist. Okay, fine. But they, had to, they had to dial it back. That's absolutely not what the Pope and the Vatican said. They never have claimed to be Marxist. They've never claimed to be communist. And they never stepped back from saying that inequality is a moral issue. Spirito Santo, I am Marxist. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> but aboard the papal plane, this is uh, from Reuters. The reporter is on board the Alitalia plane that's ferreting the Pope around. Pope Francis waded into the global debate about climate change on Thursday, saying that he believed that man was primarily responsible and that he hoped this year's Paris conference would take a courageous stand to protect the environment. The Pope said that his long-awaited wow. encyclical on the environment was almost finished and that he hoped it would be published in June in time to provide food for thought ahead of the UN climate meeting in Paris in November. Speaking to reporters on the plane, taking him from Sri Lanka to Manila, he was asked specifically if man was mostly to blame for climate change. He said, well, I don't know if it's all man's fault, but the majority is, for the most part, it's man who continuously slaps down nature. Man. Oh, man. You know, I, folks, I've got I to gotta really watch it here. <laughs> We're talking about the vicar of Christ here. All right, folks. Okay. The vicar of Christ. Oh, he's got more to say. Believes man is not part of nature. Uh, okay, I'm going to leave it there. I'm just going to, my religious beliefs are what, one of many things that inform me <laughs> that we couldn't have any impact on the climate, the planet, the globe, creation, no matter what, no matter how much we wanted to. It's beyond our reach. But that's just me. I'll leave it there. Uh, okay, uh, that. But this is me. <laughs> That's definitely just you. Unfortunately, there's a lot of other people who use whatever made-up version of Christianity they have for themselves to justify whatever stupid policies they advocate. But I feel like the Pope was on the plane, and he was almost like, as a moral leader, as a religious leader, I need to talk about the number one existential crisis we face, global warming. And also, watch what I'll make that motherfucker do. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, Rush, Rush is, is so, like, manipulative when he says things. Like, clearly, man is part of nature. I mean, that's not what the Pope meant. What the Pope meant is nature could have no way prepared or expected us to create the things we do. That's what he's talking about. Cars aren't part of nature. That's what the Pope is talking about. These factories and nuclear plants and whatever, all the emissions, all these things that we, we create are not part of nature. The Pope's not saying, you know, we got to stop uh, uh, releasing carbon dioxide and taking in oxygen and taking shits and stuff like that. That's, but that's how uh, Rush Limbaugh will, uh, will uh, pose what the Pope's saying to his uh, astute intellectual listeners well we all make god in our own image and russia's god is clearly a incredibly obnoxious unpleasant man sitting somewhere with a giant celestial golden mic telling us to pollute and laughing at poor children but i just like the fact that this is a guy who said some of the most despicable things really in america and he can't go all the way with the Pope, even though he so desperately wants to. So well done on all levels, Pope Francis.